so hello guys today in this video we are going to discuss uh, online assessment problem from barclays which is uh, more or less related to dynamic programming it was asked to one of my students uh, like few days ago so we will be discussing this problem today so <clears throat> let's see what's the problem is saying and uh, like the problem link and uh, the link to code and everything will be there in the description of the video so if you guys can surely check that out yeah so now let's see what the problem is saying okay yeah so the problem says is that stephen is doing an internship in a company for n days okay he may choose either an easy task or a difficult task he may also choose to perform no task at all he chooses a difficult task on days when and only when he did not perform any work the previous day the amount paid by the company for both easy and difficult tasks can vary each day vary each day but the company always pays more for difficult tasks write an algorithm to help stephen earn the maximum salary okay okay so this is the input given to us and yeah yeah this is the input format and in output we have to uh, return the maximum salary or sum which we can get the numbers okay so basically we will be given a two dimensional array as our input and the length of the array can be as long as 10 raised to 5 there will only be two types of uh, easy task and hard task for each index hard and the number hard is always between 2 and 10 raised to 4 and easy is always less than hard okay that is very important to check to observe now let's see the input example okay 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 so guys generally when students yeah, like sees problems like these they get scared and they are not able to solve so whoever is like uh, watching this uh, video of mine i request them to watch the previous two videos of dynamic programming of mine where i have explained uh, like i have given a very good introduction to dynamic programming and explained how to uh, like solve the problems uh, and how to use your thought process for the same so like i have basically explained how you have to think to solve the db problems because generally uh, in the market there is lots of fear regarding this so make sure you watch those videos and then get back here i will be mentioning links of those videos in the description as well so guys let's let's focus on the problem okay the problem is saying that there are days given to one days given to us okay day one then we have day two then we have day three then we have day four then we have day five day six till n okay till n they are saying that on each day you can select either an easy task or a hard task or you can select nothing at all you can just chill and decide to do no task at all okay so these three choices are given to you each day now using these three choices you have to uh, select some numbers the sum the final sum of all those numbers should be maximum that's it that's what we are trying to achieve here okay so we have two choices at each index either choose the easy task or choose the hard task or choose no tasks and uh, whatever tasks you are choosing uh, like sum them all up and the final sum should be as large as possible this is the problem given to us okay now it is very easy like see if there was no extra condition what you would do you would just select the maximum number here maximum number from here maximum number from here maximum number from here like this and you would sum them all up and you would get the answer got it but there is a very special condition in this problem which makes this problem a bit interesting so that special condition is that you can do a difficult task only if you have done nothing the previous day it means whenever you are deciding to say you are say you want to do y3 it means you cannot do x2 or y2 if you want to do y4 then you cannot do x3 or y3 means if you are deciding to do a hard task on a particular day or particular index say you want to do a hard task on day 4 then on day 3 you need to chill and do no work this is the extra condition given to us that whenever you are selecting a hard task be very careful that you should not have done any task before that okay so like uh, we cannot directly use greedy strategy here right so dynamic programming will give a proper overview of things here okay so guys see uh, like in many of my past videos i have explained how to solve a, a dynamic programming problem in general 
so initially na the first step which you should follow is try to like just imagine that you have some dp empty dp array of size n okay just try to imagine like that then uh, like it can be 1d array 2d array just depending on the problem after that what you should do is uh, try to write the base cases okay try to write the base cases always remember this step try to write the base cases try to find dp1 dp2 dp3 dp4 just by observation okay just by observation then comes the most important step is create a formula create a formula after doing the basic observations try to create a formula then the fourth one is what done because you are creating a formula now you can put what loops you can put loop on that formula and your program will be running all right okay so just try to create a formula of dp the like <laughs> people call it as a recurrence okay na recurrence relation so just try to create a dp formula then your task is done using that formula run a for loop or while loop and calculate all the values from dp1 till dp of n and dp of n is generally the final answer that's the fifth step what is the fifth step that dp of n is generally the final answer okay so for this problem let's think what we can do here okay so guys uh, if i try to see okay let's forget everything let's just think that we had only one day we had only one day so guys tell me let's try dp of 1 uh let uh, this mean as the day or the index on which we are and let this have also some meanings okay dp of 1 of e what is the meaning of dp of 1 of e it means what is the answer if you select the easy task on day 1 what yeah now like what will be the meaning of dp of 1 of hard it means what is the answer if you select a hard task on day 1 okay then comes dp of 1 of what easy no nothing nothing it means what is the answer if you select no task if you select no task on day 1 okay this is this is common sense the answer for this will be zero okay so guys these are the three states which we can write for index number 1 okay these are the simple observations what is the meaning of dp of 1 of e it means what is the answer if for the first index you are choosing an easy task so what will be the answer if you choose an easy task it will be x1 so let me write x1 there what will be the answer for the first index if i am just choosing a hard task it will be y1 it will be y1 okay no issues now what will happen if i am choosing no task on the first day <laughs> just chilling out so the answer will be zero okay guys we have successfully calculated the answer for all our dps for index 1 now let's move on to index 2 on index 2 we will be doing some really good brainstorming okay let's try to calculate dp of 2 of e so you are saying that you want to do an easy task on day 2 what will be the best answer if you want to do an easy task on day 2 e so the answer will be x2 so let me write there x2 for sure x2 term will come but now 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 here is the challenge okay what now x2 is for guaranteed because on day 2 you are trying to do x2 but now uh you can take some of the previous combinations so d if you so what is the best answer if you want to do the easy task on day 2 but this assumes that you have done the tasks on day 1 as well so on day 1 you had three choices you can select maximum of all these three choices so answer will be x2 plus maximum of what dp of 1 of e which we uh, looked previously here you can see dp of 1 of e plus dp of 1 of h okay plus dp of 1 of n plus dp of 1 of n okay 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 so guys this is the key okay this is the key so 
I have created a small formula for dp of 2 of e. If I want to do easy task, what you will do? I will surely do that easy task first, but I will take the maximum three options which I had from the previous day. Okay, that will make things easy for me. Okay. Now let's see what will be the answer if I want to do. Ah, uh, sorry, ah, uh, not good. What will be the answer if I want to do on the second day? A hard task, okay. So, guys, if you are doing a hard task, you are allowed to do no other task. You guys must be knowing that that was the rule, okay. So, if I want to do the hard task, okay, uh, I will choose Y two. I will choose what Y two. I will choose Y two. Y two, and that's it. That's it. That's it. Nothing else you can choose. Why? Because if I am choosing Y two, it means that that I cannot choose X one or Y one. So, I cannot choose anything. Uh, like now, now I have no other choice. Okay, so D P two of hard is done. Now, what will be, guys, the answer for D P two of nothing? You want to do nothing on the second day? Obviously, zero. You are doing nothing on the second day, but you might have done something on the first day, right? So it will be what maximum of all the choices on the first day. So that was what D P of what one of easy. Comma like maximum of three numbers basically D P one of ah uh, hard comma D P one of and this makes sure that ah uh, we have done no task on day two but what but we have still found the maximum which we could get by doing this much stuff okay now let's try to calculate ah uh, D P of three of easy. Guys, this is a very special way of doing the Arian program. Okay, so guys, if you are on the third index, okay, you are here. You are trying to do easy task. What will be the answer? It will be x three. Okay, it will be x three. I am just writing it out. X three plus what? Let Let's imagine that. Okay, the diagram has gone a bit. If you are doing easy task, just choose x three and the best of the three choices you had till index two. Till index two, whatever three best choices are, just select the maximum of that as easy as it could get. X three plus what maximum of what? D P of two of e comma D P of two of h comma D P of two of none. Okay, now comes the interesting part, guys. What will we? What will we? Uh, D P of three of hard, hard. If you want to do a hard task on the third day, what will be the answer? Ah, uh, let me think. Okay, if you want to do hard task on day three, you can select Y three, right? Yeah. If you select Y three, you cannot select X two or Y two. Okay, no worries. So answer will be Y three. Y three plus what? Like I want you guys to pause the video and think. What will be the answer if you want to do hard task on day three? Answer will be y three plus something. Okay. So what will be the answer for y three plus something? Okay. Let's let's think of that. So if you are doing a task on day three, it means you cannot do any task here. So the answer should be what y three plus d p of two of n means you are doing no task on day two. What is the meaning of d p of two of n? It means that you. You have tried to find the best answer, but there was one condition which you applied all year. That condition is that on the day two you are doing no task. Okay, now so we will choose this option. Okay, so I will choose D P of two of n. I will again request uh, my viewers to please watch the previous videos and uh, the previous tutorials as well to get a better understanding of what I am trying to convey. Because slowly, slowly the D P things will keep on getting complex, and if you have not watched the previous stuff, <laughs> it will create an issue. Okay, so now coming, ah, uh, yeah. So this will be what just one condition. It will be what D P of two of ah uh, D P of two of ah. Uh, Okay, nothing. That's it. Okay. Similarly, you can calculate D P of three of, ah, uh, say nothing. Okay, na. Not a very hard thing. Okay. Just like we did it previously. Just like we did it previously. So, guys, we can make three formulas here. Okay. For any index i, 
what is dp of i of e if you want to do an easy task here now the answer is very easy just choose the x xi okay now at that index choose that easy task plus take maximum of last three numbers or last three states which are dp of i minus one easy comma dp of i minus one hard comma uh, uh, dp of i minus one nothing okay so this is the formula for uh, the ith index you want to do the easy task on the ith day what is the formula for uh, if you want to do a hard task right let me write here h it's easy just do the y th y i at that day which is the hard task plus dp of only one condition dp of i minus 1 n means you are try you are selecting see for the ith index now if you do work hard work at ith index you cannot do any work at i minus 1 index so you are choosing dp of i minus 1 n n means no work n means what the state where you did no work on the ith i minus 1 third day okay similarly dp of i of n what will be the value of dp of i of n obviously you will select nothing you, will, you want to do nothing at this day so it will be what zero plus but you will select the maximum of three numbers maximum of three states which you did uh, on the previous day which were what see dp of i of n means what on that i third day you want to do nothing that's why here it is zero but you must have done something in the past right on the day i minus one so you are selecting but you want maximum that's why selecting dp i minus one e comma dp i minus one h comma dp i minus one n so you are taking maximum of these three values or these three states for the i minus one th index okay then you find the answer of dp of i of n so guys using this strategy we will be able to find in, at the end because our array is going from index one to index n so by running a for loop on these formulas you will be able to find dp of uh, n of easy and uh, dp of n of hard and we will also be able to find dp of n of nothing whichever is the best uh, answer among all these three that will be our final maximum salary which we got so the problem looks complicated but actually it's very very easy okay yeah yeah so like that's how i teach my students to solve unseen problems which i have not solved before in mentoring okay so guys uh, let's start with the coding part for the same okay so uh yeah so let's start with the coding part uh i'm going to do the coding in c plus plus but the good thing is that uh I'll just be using arrays and for loops and if else, nothing else. So even if you are a Java person, Python person, it will create no issues. You will understand things in a very, very easy manner. Okay. Like most of the people in this market try to uh, like create fear in people's mind. They try to like uh, sell the general notion, which is uh, memoization and recursion. They keep on saying do memoization, do recursion. That's the only way to solve DB problems. That's not true. The like if you want to make a person strong in DP now, nah, don't focus on the memoization and recursion because then he keeps on thinking of memoization and recursion only. He never actually understand how to make the DP states, how to apply the DP logic, and how to solve new problems by applying DP. For that, now nah, your actual DP concept should get strong. That's why I am in these videos directly trying to uh, make the DP concept of you guys strong. Okay. So hope all of you will like it. We're trying to solve DP problems in a very, very easy manner. So guys, uh, uh, like, let's take the first input which is the size of the array. After that, uh, we have to read a number two, which is constant everywhere. Okay. Guys, we have a uh, two tasks, easy tasks and hard tasks. So let's create an array to accept them. I want to do one based indexing. That's why I'm creating array of size n plus one. Okay. This is for the hard tasks. Okay. Now, uh, let me think what to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I will just take the input of all these elements. Okay. I will run the loop till n. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing it right. Okay. Uh, so let's read the easy task. Same easy of i. Now let's read the hard task. Hard of i. Okay. Very good. 
Now, guys, the base case. Okay, what is the base case? Uh, DP, okay, I did not even declare DP. Okay, these days I am not focusing very well. DP of, let's create any bigger two-dimensional array just for our sanity purposes. Okay. So, guys, uh, what will be the value of DP of 1 of 1? I uh, talked about it previously only. DP of 1 of 1 will be what? Uh, nothing but uh, that our X1. Easy. Okay. Easy task. Because we are just in the first index. Now we just saw, do the easy task. That's it. Easy one. Similarly, what will be DP of 1 of 2? Achha, this 1 means that we are trying to do an easy task. Okay. Okay. So DP of this of 1 means easy. Okay. Similarly, this means hard. I cannot, I don't want to write E and H there. So I am replacing E and H by 1 and 2. So don't get confused. And 3, I am and I am replacing by N. Okay. And N, I am replacing by 3. Sorry. Hard of 1. So this is it. Now comes DP. This means what? This means I am doing a hard task. Okay. Hard task. Now comes DP of 1 of... Uh, which is uh, you want to do nothing here right on the first day just chilling out on the beaches we do nothing okay very good now let's uh, start from uh, second index okay so I am trying to do this uh, okay okay so guys what will be the answer for if I want to do an easy task on this day what would be the answer let's imagine obviously I will do an easy task. So easy of i plus what? Maximum of? I've created the formula. You guys can pause and like go back and check. The formula is the pre the best answers of the previous index. dpi minus 1, 1. Comma dpi minus 1, 2. Comma dpi minus 1, 3. Okay. Now guys, what will be the answer if you want to do a hard task? Obviously, I'll pick up the hard task of that day. Hard of i plus. But now I'm not allowed to do any task on the previous day. So the answer would be just DP of I minus 1, 3. This means I did nothing on the day of I minus 1. Okay. Did nothing on I minus 1 day. Minus 1 day. Okay. Now, what if you want to do nothing on the third, on the current day? Obviously, zero. I'm just writing zero here for sanity purposes. So, everyone understands. Rest of the condition is you can just copy paste from here. Okay. Okay. Let me write it out for everyone. DP I minus 1, 1, comma, DP I minus 1, uh, 2, comma, DP I minus 1, 3. Okay. This much is done. And this much is also done. Okay. 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 Yeah, like let, uh, let's see what is the input there okay so if i check the input it is what four two one two okay four two one two then comes what four two one two four ten twenty twenty one four ten twenty twenty one the time complexity for this will be o of n because they're running only of one for loop okay and the space complexity will always also be o of n okay you can say of n into 3, but uh, 3 is a constant, so you can just ignore that. So, uh, 2021, then comes what? 223, okay. 223, so there might be some compilation errors. Uh, compilation errors. Finally, we'll be printing maximum of three states at the nth index, okay. Uh, yeah, so what was the issue? Okay, okay, got it. Like this is the way of finding pre maximum of three numbers in C++. One of the ways, okay? Not the absolute one. So let me do a copy paste one time. So I just do it like this. Yeah. Uh, I can just write here N here for better understanding so guys our answer is coming as 33 okay uh and okay so answer is 33 now i got the final code so guys i'm uploading the code on my website basic QA. so guys uh, like let me do let me explain what my website does okay so guys this is my website where uh, like you will find thousand plus online assessment problems which were 
uh, like online assessment problems with their solutions which were asked in this current year 2022 apart from that uh, guy, you guys can find many more things okay on this website like tech news you guys can find the tech news then you can guys can even find uh, like all the recent job opportunities etc etc okay so there are like too many things on this websites if you want to travel through like go through travel like travel some way then what will you do just say you want to check out amazon or just click on amazon and you will get like list of all the amazon OAs with their solutions which are asked which were asked recently okay so there are too many things on this site so make sure you explore it right now i'm just checking if i have something here okay let me go to online assessment barclays oil okay let me check if i can go so i have logged in let me check okay i have written the code here okay normal so i write it in a formatted manner i have uploaded the code here so guys we are done here in the next uh, bro, like series we'll try to discuss more and more advanced problems on dynamic programming soon okay so i hope all of you guys uh, had fun and <laughs> enjoyed uh, watching this okay so now i'm stopping the recording thank you guys and it's uh, late at night now now i need to sleep okay so thank you guys it was a nice session let me stop the recording bye bye